I remember going back and forth like, dang, should I come back to my senior year? Should I take the chance? And I remember my grandpa was like, it's time. And I was like, fuck it. You know, like people always say like, uh, your daughter, your daughter gonna change you, or your daughter gonna uh, love you way more than your son. You know, like daddy's girl, things like that. And it, it, it really is like that. Like coming home from like a long road trip, like most of the time, like last night we get in at like three o'clock in the morning, so she be sleep. So like I get in, I go to sleep, but like she'll wake up and be like, <gasps> like in the morning and stuff like that. And that kind of that be making me feel, that make me feel good. I ain't gonna lie. Seeing her get excited, like seeing me, cause. When, I was, when she went to sleep, I wasn't there. She don't know if I had a bad game. She don't know if you had a bad day. Like, she don't really care about that. All she really knows is like, and my daddy home. I ain't see him in a, a little second. So I think that's kind of helped me like put things in, uh, in perspective for sure. Some of the things I just wanted to know, like, you know, stuff ain't gonna go your way. That's, you know, that's just part of life. But, you know, don't let that discourage you. Don't let that stop you from, you know, chasing what you want. Um, what's for you is for you. Like, I just wanted to know my story. Things could not be looking like it's, you know, going to work out for you, but you know, just keep your head down and it's going to work out for you. God got a plan for, for all of us, for sure. I'm from Gretna, uh, which is, you know, right outside New Orleans. You got to learn fast. You got to pick up on stuff fast. Uh, There's a lot of different things going on around you. You got, definitely got to be aware of your surroundings. Um, and it definitely helped me, you know, just in life, especially now, uh, you know, being in the league, being around different people. Uh, you know, everybody don't have a, the best intentions for you, but you definitely learn how to, you know how to navigate it a little bit quicker. Meeting a lot of new, new people definitely give me, a, a, you know, a different look, outlook on life. Like, I even go back to, like, college, like, when we went to China, you know, I was able to go play in Prague when I made the USA team. Uh, just how the city was so old, like the buildings and stuff, you could tell like it was, you know, it had been around a while. Uh, living in New York, just how fast paced it is, how cluttered it is, how people on top of each other. You know, you see people talk about like Southern hospitality, like, I think, we don't think nothing of it, but like when you go to different places and you see how different people interact and stuff like that, you could, you could tell the difference. Um, just living out here on the West Coast, I think it definitely helped me. So it's crazy to just had that, that, that one scholarship, I had to try to take advantage of that. That was my whole thing, like making the most of it. Like these people gave me an opportunity, like be grateful for it and like make the most of it. Um, I'm, so I wanted to go in there and try and make an impact from the beginning. And I, I always say like I was blessed to be able to like go there and play from the beginning. Like play through mistakes. Like I feel like that's the best teaching, like going out there and getting experience. And they allowed me to play through that. I was able to play Team USA the summer of my sophomore season. So after the season, I had a pretty good season. I played well. And my coach was just really just trying to look out for me, like trying to give me exposure. Like he felt like I could play at a high level. So he was trying to like, Give me in all these camps. So like they had like Nike League camps, Adidas Nation. We tried to get in CB3 camp too, or whatever like that. And like all these people was like, nah, like you go to small school, we cool, we cool. And what happened was this man was taking these people to China to like basically preach the gospel, like teach people about the Bible and stuff like that. But you got to play against like pros for like two weeks. And he called my coach like, yo, you got a point guard in your in your conference? And my coach is like, I got a point guard on my team. So I wind up getting my passport to go to China. When I get back from China in them two weeks, somebody got hurt uh, for Team USA to like for the tryout, and they needed one more person to like come try or whatever like that. And if I don't have my passport, I wouldn't even been able to go. I went, wind up making the team. I wind up starting every game. It was a complete 180, dog. Like you think about like not getting no exposure, not getting nothing to talk about, then like all you see is like. Oh yeah, like yeah. like you might you might get drafted this year, or like coming to practice and we got scouts at practice, or like 
coach telling you like, oh, they got scouts at this game tonight and stuff like that. So going from, like you said, zero to 100, totally, totally, totally different. I still want more, like achievement-wise, championship-wise, like this is the first time I feel like I'm on a championship team. Now, um, I've been on teams that's, that we kind of underachieved or, uh, our teams that we did better than we were supposed to, but we didn't think we would make it. We knew we'd be good, we'd be good, but we didn't think we won a championship. Like this is the first time I'm I feel like we won a championship team. So I just go back to being grateful, son. Like I remember the last time I was here, it wasn't this many people in the stands. Like they basically saying we wasn't trying to win, and I come here, whole 180. Like everything is about winning. Everything is about the players. Everybody's about getting their work in. You can see how serious it is. Like Monty is like a great coach. Straightforward, I'll tell you what it is. And I think we really got a chance to do something special here. It's crazy, like when you in it, you always feel like, dang, I could be doing more. I'm chasing something, I'm chasing this, I'm chasing that. But like, it's cool to sit back and be like, dang, I did, you know, do a lot more than, than a lot of people did, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people that I even got drafted with ain't even make it this far. So it's it's humbling. You definitely got to sit back and be like, damn, be grateful for what it is. But I always feel like, man, I got to do more. It's still things I want to work on. still things I want to add to my game. You know, I want to try and play as long as my body let me. Like, I don't, I still got a lot of love for this game. So that's, that's what really keeps me humble, bro. Like, I'm always about, and we talked about this yesterday, like trying to leave something better than I found it. Or like having somebody pass me. I feel like that's the, the call to shit. Like, Alfred helped me get to where I was at, you know what I'm saying? Or like, you know, like just pushing the, the generation, you know what I'm saying? So the next, the next wave of kids be cold too.